What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what to look for at the thrift store. As a reseller, the thrift store is definitely a great option, but some thrift stores, the price of the items are increasing, and in some cases, some of the ones that I've been into recently, they actually look up the value of the items before they put them in the showcase or put them out on the shelves, and that's what jacks the price up for some of these items, and some items are just not worth it to be able to flip for profit, while others Others still are. Now, one of the things I always look for at the thrift store is anything Disney related, whether that's any of the hard goods, the mugs, the plush, or other items. If it's anything Disney, I always check it out and look up sold comps because some of it is worth some money. For example, this little piggy bank here with all of the characters from Winnie the Pooh is a great find that I recently found at the thrift store. I didn't realize that at first, but it actually is from Walt Disney World, which obviously we don't have here in Canada, so that was very awesome to find in a local thrift store. Now this here, it's a little piggy bank. Now, luckily they did have the stopper here as well. This here, we did pay $7 for, and it is worth up to $50. Now, it doesn't have that much wear on it, so there's a little mark on Winnie the Pooh's ear here, but overall it is in great condition. At first glance, I didn't think it was gonna be worth much money because this here, is just silicone. It is not ceramic, it is not glass, it is not anything like that. It is just silicone rubber, a little on the flexible side, but it is super light as well. So I didn't think it was gonna be worth much money, but it's worth upwards of $50, and we only paid $7 for it, which at a thrift store is a great find, and there is profit there. But for me, anything Disney related, I always look for and look up the soul comps because of finding this, and sometimes you can get really great deals when it comes to that stuff. Next is going to be certain movies and I'll be honest lately I haven't been focusing on the movie section because usually at thrift stores they're not in that great of condition or that great of titles but one that I always look out for is the Lord of the Rings extended editions. Those are the big thick ones there that usually have I think three or four discs inside. At the thrift store before, I did pick up three of those, uh, three different Lord of the Rings. I think it was complete sets, but I did pick that up for, I think, $10, and I sold it on eBay at one point for $35. Now, since finding that, and I always look for those, I did find them at another thrift store locally, but they're charging close to $20, $25 for it, so obviously that location looks up to see what the value is and their pricing accordingly, rather than just trying to sell things at a thrift price level so you do have to look out and look up the soul comps of what you think you can sell items for but some places actually sell for a lot higher but definitely certain movies I do look out for when I'm at the thrift store next is going to be vintage wood grain alarm clocks any of those older alarm clocks, number one, in the thrift store, usually there's a section you can go and test them so you can plug it in and make sure they're working, make sure the clock is keeping time and making sure that the radio at least works or the alarm works. Usually those you can get between three to ten dollars depending on the size of the unit the smaller ones are usually three dollars the bigger ones are usually seven to ten dollars around there i did recently sell the two that i did purchase at the thrift store for both of them one was a larger one and one was a smaller one but for both of them it equaled out to be about eight dollars with a discount that i had that day and i sold both of them on ebay recently for thirty dollars combined so that to me was a great deal to find those and I always look out for them but sometimes whenever you find them they are in rough condition, they're worn out, sometimes there are chips and stuff on them. The ones that I found were in great condition and that's why they sold for the price that they did but it's always worth looking up the model numbers, seeing what they sell for on eBay, the sold comps and checking those out because some of those are worth some money and I always look for them whenever I check out thrift stores. Next is going to be any sealed board games. This is actually something that I'm starting to get away from myself just because some board games, even though they're sealed and they're brand new, some of them are harder to sell and they're slow movers, for me at least, rather than other items that I can find that are bigger ticket items, sell for more and they sell a lot quicker. So you can find some really great sealed board games, but sometimes it does take a while for you to sell those items. 
And the last thing that I want to mention to be on the lookout for at the thrift store is going to be any video games or consoles. I found some really great items and some other items that I did purchase and I didn't check out good enough. The one thing is check them out as best that you can. Now you can't test it and connect it to a TV so you won't know if a console has the red light of death or the blue light of death or something like that. But you can plug it into the outlets and whenever they test them in the back, that's all they do. They don't connect to them to the TV so you're not sure if it is fully going to be working working whenever you do take it home and connect it to a TV so there is a little bit of a risk whenever it comes to consoles. One console that I did buy, the Xbox 360 bundle, I paid $25 at the thrift store. I thought it was in great condition. I got home and I found out it has the red light of death. So I, instead of selling it for the around $80 which I usually sell Xbox 360s for, I was only able to sell it for $40 and disclosed that it did have the red light of death. Now that one there, it did still make profit, but one of my better consoles that I found was a PlayStation 1 that I paid again $25, but I was able to sell that for $50. So at least I doubled my money there. Most recently I did go to another thrift store that's actually in a higher end neighborhood and I actually found True Crime for the PlayStation Two, which was in perfect brand new condition. I found for the PlayStation 4, they had Horizon Zero Dawn, which was in perfect condition, no scratches on the disc. The case was phenomenal. I did find a Batman game and I did find another Assassin's Creed. This was Black Flag and everything was in perfect condition, which is very rare at thrift stores because normally at thrift stores, the discs are all scratched up. The cases are in terrible condition and it just so happened these four games that I bought were in perfect condition. But also, usually they have an assortment of video games, even though their video games range from $5 to $8. Always look up to see what the value is because some games that they sell for $5 is only worth about $2. So you're not going to make any money off of them. Always look up sold comps before you buy anything. And whenever it comes to consoles, test them as best as you can and make a judgment call on that. Because sometimes you can get burned like I almost did with the red light of death on the Xbox 360. And sometimes it will work in your favor while others sometimes might not be. So hope you guys enjoyed this video, me sharing what to look out for at the thrift store and what sort of items I look out for whenever I go to the thrift store. Hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.